Hi, I'm Dave Anderson, president of Learn to Lead, and I'd like to spend just a few moments visiting with you about the importance of having structure and focus and planning your day. Very often I have salespeople and managers both tell me about all the hours they're putting in and all the days they're putting in. And I, I always suggest to them that it's not the hours you put in that make you effective, it's what you put in the hours. It's not the days you put in that make you effective, it's what you put in the days. I'm talking about working within the discipline of priorities. And in order to do that, day in and day out, I think you need a planner. You need a daily game plan that keeps you focused on what and who matters most. You know, I've talked about in my workshops how I believe human beings develop to their potential in a structured environment. In a structured environment, not when they're shooting from the hip every day or making it up as they go along or operating out of instinct. Well, a planner, a game plan helps you structure that environment. Uh, Peter Drucker said decades ago, put first things first and last things not at all. Stephen Covey said the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. And I believe one of the key reasons we fall short of our potential in sales and life and management is because we put second things first. We spend major time on minor things and minor time on the major things and we end the day exhausted, disorganized, we immerse ourselves in a swirl of activity and wonder at day's end what did we really accomplish. Well a daily game plan will help you do better than that. It will give you the opportunity to create your day rather than just let it happen. It will help you to make each day a masterpiece rather than just get through the day. You can get from the day. Now let me give you a couple tips for using a planner. First of all, what we often are taught to do is to prioritize our schedule. But I recommend that you schedule your priorities. What brings you the greatest return on your time? Spending time with who brings you the greatest return on your time? Identify those two things, high leverage activities and high leverage people, and schedule those things. Get them on your calendar. First things first, remember? Secondly, leave as little unmanaged time in your daily game plan as possible. As little unmanaged time and your schedule is possible. Take a look at your schedule. If there's a lot of white space in your daily plan, if there's a lot of white space on your planner, you're headed for trouble. White space means unmanaged time. It means you haven't thought about what you want to accomplish today. And quite frankly, the more white space you have on your calendar each day, the less effective you're going to be. We just do dumb things with unmanaged time. Unmanaged time flows to the trivial. I mean, think about it. If you have extra time on your hands, you end up doing trivial things with it, trivial conversations, web surfing type of mentality. You're not focused. You're not sharp. You're not accomplishing anything. Unmanaged time also tends to flow to your weaknesses. I mean, when you have extra time on your hands, you spend time doing things you're not even good at, and you get involved in areas where you don't have expertise, and you're meddling, and you're not effective, and you can mess things up for somebody else. Also, unmanaged time surrenders to every emergency. If you have extra time on your hands, if you don't have a well-planned day, then you're going to get involved in every bit of drama and gossip that comes along. Why? Because you've got the time to do it. And the last penalty of unmanaged time, it comes under the control of the dominant people in your life. In other words, if you have a sloppy day planned, if you don't have much that's scheduled, if you're not going to use your time, someone else is going to use it for you. You're going to be working off of their in and out box. So think about it. How much focus do you have when you come into work every day? Are you working in a highly structured environment? Are you winging it? Are you trying to get to the next level by shooting from the hip and making it up as you go along? You're really not likely to get as far as you'd like using that strategy. A great coach would not walk in to play a game without a game plan. They're going to come in. It's not going to be in their head. It's going to be on paper. It's going to keep them focused. They may have to make adjustments as the day goes by, but they have something to start with. You need to do the same thing. Let me make a suggestion for you. If you want to have your best year ever, start to make each day a masterpiece. Make each day a masterpiece. Just don't get through the day, get from the day. Make it pay, and the best way to start is with focus and discipline that comes with working within the priorities and the parameters of a daily plan, a daily game plan. Get it, use it, and I'll see you at the next level.